I, I always wanted to draw and sketch and paint and very, very connected with the visual world. Uh, my father was in the service, so we moved around a lot. We lived in areas where we'd stay for two years, you didn't really make very many friends. So I'd wind up being one of those kids that would just go take a walk, hike. You know, what's the sense by the time you make friends, uh, you've got to lose them anyway. So I, I got really in touch with nature. I started to love trees and shrubs and plants. Uh, to go from there, I became a landscape contractor. And then at the age of 35, after building a successful landscape business in Cape May County, Stan Spurlack enrolled in the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, America's first art school. In art school at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts for three years, I discovered that I really wanted to be a painter. I was looking for um, a, a way to express myself better through my landscape design. But I think at 35 years old, I was also starting to come up with this idea, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? You know, where am I headed? This year, Spurlack has a solo show at the Noyce Museum of Art in Oceanville, New Jersey. At the Noyce Museum are uh, four or five really large pastels that folks, if they went there to see this, they would be quite surprised uh, for pastels. There's uh, one painting that's called Into the Night, the title piece of the show. Uh, it started out with me painting a very local scene. It's Benny's Landing, just about a mile from where I live here. And it just became something bigger. It looks like the Grand Canyon of Marshes. And it's at night, it's in, at dusk. And there's the moon is above it with Jupiter and Venus, the conjunction. I really just think that the marsh in our area is uh, very um, under-romanced. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs>